Today I'm going to be demonstrating how exactly to use this Hungry Artisan food mill. Now the Hungry Artisan is going to come with three different things for the dome. So it's going to have small, which is what I have down inside of here, medium and large. You're going to put this in with the dome side up and that's just going to mean where the ray side is. That's the part that's going to be up, not down. And then you're going to put it in from the top, not from the bottom. It does have three little notches and so that's where these three notches are going to go. So it's going to put it down inside there and then you are going to want to push it so that way it kind of sits into place like so. So essentially those go into those three notches on there. Once you have that, then you're gonna to wanna to take this and you're going to wanna put it straight down. Okay, essentially you're putting the bottom of this right through that little hole there. So that's going to fit right inside there. Now what's, uh, what's interesting about this food mill is that it's going to have a spring. So you can put the one side on pretty easily there. And then it's got a spring. So what you're gonna do is you're going to actually push down and then move over to get into, into place. Now you can see that activated this spring. Now this one specifically, you're going to be turning it clockwise. So you are gonna to wanna to make sure that you actually do it in the right manner, not doing it um, counterclockwise, just according to the instructions, you're gonna do it clockwise. So I'm gonna be actually using this on persimmons. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of those, get a bowl and everything set up and show you exactly how that works. So I tried it with a couple of persimmons and it, with the small one, it just didn't work just with how big the persimmon seeds are. We weren't getting any of the pulp in or anything like that. We're going to try and use this to make a persimmon bread or persimmon pudding. So I actually went ahead and changed it out for the larger one. It's going to be a little bit different or if you're using this for veggies or, you know, for making sauces like tomato sauce, something like that. It's got all going to work a little bit differently. With the persimmons, obviously they have much bigger seeds that are going to be in them. So what we're finding is you really have to take the seeds out before you put it in here to kind of grind up the pulp. Otherwise, what it's ended up doing is actually end up grinding, grinding up the persimmon seeds. So it's going to be a little bit more work. We're going to have to take the seeds out before we put the remainder inside of here and get that to grind up. But it is working. As you can see here, we are getting some of the pulp down inside. We don't need a ton of the different pulp um from these persimmons to make the persimmon better the bread or the persimmon pudding so i uh, just have to kind of figure out exactly what it is with the persimmons but if you're using any other fruit like an apple or a pear or um strawberries or you know other vegetables even um you, with they don't have these giant seeds like the persimmons do then this should work great without having to worry about taking the seeds and stuff out first so overall definitely pretty happy with this food mill and again this one is going to be from hungry artisan